Hi guys, my name is Jane. Today we are going to play Animal Crossing New Horizons. Ooh, desert, deserted island. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? All right. Let's... Let's just give her my name. Call her... Let's call her Jane. Jane, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Jean. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. Good, because it's going to take me a long time. <laughs> we'll be ready when you are. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. See how pasty we can make her. My pink pasty or yellow, a little bit beigey pasty. Let's add a little warmth. We can idealize things a little bit. <laughs> All right. Um, what else we got here? We've got cheeks. You can change the tone of your cheeks. You can have a nice little pinky glow. Let's go back actually to cheeks. I think I'm gonna go for... So the difference between the f this one and this one is it has this little blur, so it's like more of a blended blush look. Nose. I like that nose, it's cute. Mouth, let's see what we can get. Ooh, the cat mouth is kinda cute. I like that one. Eyes. Mm. Oh my gosh, there are so many eye options here. Okay, this is kind of scary, that's why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm shocked. That's cute. <laughs> kind of like a little sleepy, a little, a little dopey. That one looks kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. Yeah, and we're gonna do blue eyes, hairstyle. Now this is where I spend the most time. <laughs> no, I'm not liking that one. Wait, are those the- there's no way that's the only hairstyles you can get. I guess you just get a few basic styles and then you just find the rest in game. Um I guess we'll go for this one. <laughs> go for the, go for that mom look. <laughs> the 
cheeks, nose, mouth, eyes, hairstyle, skin tone. I guess we're done here. Everything look okay? Yeah, I hope we can change our look later, to be honest. <laughs> it looks, it's, it's good enough for now. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. Wow, they're gonna take a picture. <laughs> and now let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. So they're saying if you want, so that's optional. What I mean is we have islands in both the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that you have the same seasonal pattern as your current home. So tell me, Jane, where do you live now? Well, Nintendo, they want to gather all the, all the details. They want to know where you live. They want to know your birthday. All right. I mean, the other games were like that, too. I am in North America. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd like to recommend you to relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay? Yeah, that sounds okay. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. So, now then, all our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space for comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. Alright, uh... Do I want one with a lot of streams? This one's kind of cute because that can be like a moat. Actually, I really like that one. Yeah. My hope is that my house can be in the middle of that there. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing to a deserted island, what would that be? Ooh. <laughs> a sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, or something to kill time. You know, I would bring a sleeping bag. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> Nook Inc. will fully cover all your basic needs. <laughs> yes. Thank God, guys. Nook sh 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 us a send us off into the woods with a sleeping bag. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Again? Oh, they're gonna drop us off. Now, I wonder if they're gonna land or if we're just gonna fall out like Fortnite. <laughs> We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island. 
but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session on the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader... What? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now. If you'd like to move, follow us. Did I just join a cult? Alright, let's... Let's follow them. Oh, look who it is. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Hazel here? And how about Scoot? And there's Jane, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook, over... I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventures are ready to get started. <clears throat> yes, yes, very good. Let's see how shall I begin. Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes. Yes. Today is the first day of your new life in this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal. As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first. Yes. Yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... He's a, he's a mobster. Ah, first, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Alright, so we're going to get a tent. Here you go, Jane. Your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select the tent to place it. Didn't they just say they weren't just going to drop me off with a tent? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. Yeah, that would be nice. Once you've put up your tent, please find a way to... Please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well... Off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Alright. So, inventory is X. No. Let's see. Okay, so I chose the place. Oh, peaches! Alright, so we just need one more peach. Might as well take all of these. There we go. Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those peaches off your hands and get started on the preparations. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Now it's... Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh, a 
campfire. Yay! At last, allow me to properly welcome you all to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. Hmm? Oh ho. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt with that, that with hard work and perseverance, pers <laughs> and I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we shall shape this deserted island into, I suppose we could call it, this is a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? Alright, so let's name it. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of that democracy, we should put it to vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. So the name for the island. I mean, I made a joke about Jonestown, but maybe I can call it Janestown. <sighs> uh, let's name it. Oh, all right. Is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Swoleville. Swoleville. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you like best. James seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Well, that is not sensible at all. <laughs> Let's start here. So Jane suggested Janestown. Oh, everyone's clapping that one. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. Suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Janestown. Absolutely, it rocks. Okay. Splendid then. From now on, this island will be known as Janestown. Well, Jane. Since you've proven yourself by naming Janestown, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we need to make on this island. Yes, yes. I hereby name you the resident representative of Janestown. Jane, could you please say a word or two to the new... S uh, Jane, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? A word or two. Hmm, so we settled on the name for our island and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's also rather late. So let's have a new toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from peaches. Our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to Janestown and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! I mean, I might honestly go back and change the name of the town. <laughs> Thank you.
He's, he's chanting it. What a great name. Just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. I'm here to you, Soup. I'm here to you, Sir Tom Nook. Ah, Jane, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Uh, I'm not tired yet. Yes, yes, I should have known you would have plenty of energy. Well, enjoy the moment. Let's just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. Another thing I just noticed that we did that they also do in Jamestown is we all had a cheers with a beverage of juice. Except with Kool-Aid. This time it was with peach juice. So maybe I will keep the name Jamestown. It's pretty fitting. Let's just maybe collect some peaches before I go to bed. As you do. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> Wait, first let's talk to Scoot. Sitting around a campfire with cups of peach juice, it almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. <laughs> oh, we're referring to each other as family now, are we? Okay. I run away to a des deserted island, name and town. Everyone there is my new family, and we cheers with beverages. Alright. Ah, Jane. Having a good time, yes? That is a bit much. So if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna go do that. Maybe the peach juice is kicking in a little too hard. Sounds good to me, but first you probably want this. A leaf. It's your very own cap being caught. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm, just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into the bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes. That's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Jane. Alright, good night, everybody. <laughs> Um, let's go to sleep. Oh, here we go. Let's see what else we got. A radio and a little lantern. I like it. Let's set up our cot. There. I rest my head for a little while. Rest. So, it looks like you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore the new frontiers. That's all right the way- wait. That's all the way right, daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being your own lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is a squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends? It's pretty key. You'd dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah. An island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and catch you later. 
So I drink some peach juice and have a psychedelic dream of a spirit, spirit guide. All right, guys, I'm blacking out. I hope I wake up tomorrow. I drank that peach juice. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day. All right, till next time, guys. See you.